Hello, this is Pamela, the Stampin' Pink Rose, and this is a card fold Friday. And I am doing a uh, card fold that is a little different. It's called a triple time uh, card. You can see it here. It is layered. I will show you how to do it. It's very, very simple. And I will also give you the measurements. So now, I hope you're not too tired of abstract impressions. I'm going to give you another way to use that stamp set. We're going to use similar colors that we did the last couple days. The only difference is there is no purple in this one. And of course you would be able to change the color to whatever you want. I think that's one of the reasons I like this abstract impressions because you can use it for a variety. I chose to pull out itty bitty greetings for my happy birthday that will go on it. And then I'm using the Timeless Textures, and the one I'm using on it is this piece here of Timeless Textures. So now let's get started and let me explain exactly what all you have. You will need a solid and a solid colored cardstock and a, uh, I'm using white is what I prefer to use. Okay, so let's go through these steps of exactly what we have. Okay. The small one here is a two and three fourths, uh, two by th three, uh, try that again, two by three and a fourth. Then it has a matching piece that's two and a fourth by three and a half, okay? Then there is a three by four and a fourth, and then a three and a fourth by four and a half, okay? Now this one here, your base is four by five and a fourth, okay? I mean, your other card. Okay, now, let me explain this one here. I have cut this at four and a fourth by five and a half. It was originally an eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock. And then you fold it at four and a fourth to have your base. If you'll notice on this one, I used this here and then I cut an eight and a half by five and a half and I have it behind it because I like a white background. Now, if you don't, then use, like I'm using Earl Espresso, at eight and a half by five and a half and fold it four and a fourth. Otherwise, just cut yourself an extra piece at of the uh, Earl Espresso at five and a half by four and a fourth or four and a fourth by five and a half. Okay, I hope I made myself clear on that one. All right, so we're going to get started. We're going to put all the cardstock of Espresso off to the side. We're going to take our snail, and we are going to do it ever so little. And we're going to make sure we got it centered. We're going to do it again, make sure it's centered. Okay. Then we're going to take Timeless Textures and Crumb Cake. And this really is a very easy card. And here we go. We're going to stamp. And I'm going to stamp all around. And I need to do one thing. So I'm going to stamp a little farther. And I'm going to stop. I need to pull up. And I'm going to hope I have it. I'm going to pull up. I'm hoping it's happy birthday. And I need my Early Espresso ink. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to stamp it right down here towards the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to put that away. And that was my greeting. Okay. Now back to our stamping. Okay. This is crumb cake. And I am using, I chose to use crumb cake on this. Okay, now I have this stamp the way I want. Now our next step is to grab our colors, which is the Mango Melody and the Grapefruit Grove. So I will start with the Grapefruit Grove. The pieces I'm using, and this one does not want to stay on the stamp, is this one 
and this one. This piece here will be your mango melody. And then the swirl one will be your grapefruit grove. Okay? And yesterday when I did a video, I stamped off to the side. I'm not on this one. I'm going straight on. Make sure it's overlapping. Okay, one more up here. Now I'm going to go over to Grapefruit Grove, grab it, and remember that detailed one. This is the one I'm using. I'm going to stamp right on where I previously stamped. Okay. One more up here. Okay. So now I think I want one more mango. So I'm going to reopen it. And I'm going to give it right down here. And then I'm going to go over to Grapefruit Grove and I'm going to stamp right on that. Okay. Done. Now you're wondering what's next. Take them all apart. You see what you have? Okay, we'll start with the base. And I'm going to take my snail adhesive. Put it down. Then I'm going to grab that next color, next size up. And I'm going to take that piece. And put it on top just like that take this one here and put it on top here it down And your card is done. I gotta hear this one. I did not get that bottom one done. I thought I adhered it. There we go. Now your card is done. Do you see how pretty it is and how it overlaps? And now I have here a complete card. And notice each time you do it, they're always a little differently. So I hope this gives you an idea. Uh, if you check up my online store, you can order uh, products. Um, check my blog, and on my blog is a spot where you can pull down, and I'll also have a link for my online store. Make sure you use your hostess code if you're doing 150 less. Make sure you've signed up for my newsletter. It will be out on Tuesday. Uh, I also do a Facebook Live on Thursday, a technique video on Wednesday, and Friday is my card full video. So I hope this gives you lots of ideas. You can see I'm a quite active demonstrator. Love to help people uh, enjoy their paper crafting. So I hope this was a great idea for you. Again, this is Pamela Stampin' Pink Rose. Uh, go see what you can get blooming in your garden and have a great day.